To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. Caroline Durier was a distinguished 20th century American artist. Versatile and sophisticated, she was also an arts instructor and administrator. Born in 1896 into a prosperous New Orleans Creole family, she studied at Newcomb College, then attended the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. After marrying, Durier moved with her husband to Cuba, then Mexico in the 1920s. Her experiences abroad changed Durier, and her art transformed considerably. The artist used social commentary increasingly in her artwork, which well suited her fine drawing skills and sharp wit. In the 1930s, Durier returned to New Orleans, where she taught at Newcomb College and directed federal art projects locally. Later, Durier went to Louisiana State University, where she earned a master's degree and taught for many years. Durier experimented with her art and advanced printmaking methods. In her explorations, she used radioactive inks to pioneer the creation of electron prints. She revisited the cliché Ver process and modified it to accept color, a key innovation historically. Though Durier died in 1989, her work can be widely found in collections and in such publications as the New Orleans City Guide, Gumbo Yaya, Mardi Gras Day, and books focused on her own art. Durier was profiled, too, in Sherwood Anderson and other famous Creoles. William Spratling and William Faulkner's famous look at the French Quarter's bohemian culture. Caroline Durier's compelling career continues to demand attention. Her diverse achievements are testament to a lasting artistic legacy. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.